Hey, what's up, guys? So we are actually on the Steam client now. We got transferred over here thanks to Undead Nicole. So we have all our uh, five star Solaria gems and everything here. And we're actually going to start trying to learn to play on the Steam client because we've got some bad news. Uh, this is an arena team right here, so a random arena team. We bad uh, some bad news that uh, iOS is kind of getting left in the dust uh, unless you're on uh, a metal enabled device, which is iPhone 5s or higher, or iPhone Air or higher, or iPad Air or higher, I believe it is. Um, so they won't be able to really update anything lower model wise uh, in the iTunes store. It looks like due to some Apple shenanigans. So that really, really sucks. Uh, so we are here on Steam now. So if you want to play Moonrise, you can PvP. You can add me as friends. We are on Steam. I will give you out my code uh, in, the in the description down below. So let's take a look here at the relics. All right, Infernal Snare. So a lot of stuff is different here. Uh, just getting that out there. A lot of things are different. A lot of unique skills change. Um, a lot of relics that are brand new that I've never seen before. Carousing Elixir. 140 HP, uh, will apply Toxin, and Stone Shield. Okay, so it puts it to yourself, and it gives yourself Toxin, but a big Stone Shield. Here we go. Pacify, can't deal damage, backlash to user. Okay, wow, it's a zero boot up time. That's really good. All right, so we're going to equip on that. Uh, pacify means that they can't deal damage. Rooted and burning, not so much. Alright, so for our miner, what do we got here? For those that are just joining us, I do a, kind of like a daily arena run, most part. And we'd like to go at the relics first, because this is all about what your warding can do. You want to know what you got, and if you got some direct damage on your relics, that means you can actually go to, to the face and kill the warden. If you don't have direct damage on your relics, you can't do that. You want to make a strategy that works with your, your stuff synergizes well. And for here, we don't have enough direct damage, so we cannot go with the direct damage build. Even if we wanted to, we can't do it. So you got to kind of mend and bend to your uh, relics that you got here. So the only one that I really like out of these, uh, the Root Smash is pretty good. It's a low cooldown, low boot up time, decent amount of damage, and it's nature. Nature is very, very important. Uh, there's not that many nature skills out there. So it's between that and it's between the Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning does a lot of damage. It has long boot up time. It hits all enemies though. So we have a pass on. Let's go. Let's keep the root smash for now, and we'll see what we have in our team. So now we're gonna go check out our team. Uh, definitely love this guy here, Teslak. His electro pulse, triple chain lightning. That's a lot of chain lightning coming out there. Will apply stun and dizzy. Huge, huge damage right there. He has haste on him frequently as a skill, but he cannot be removed. Uh, so let's go and look at all the Solar here, actually. Alright, so you got Ted. We can only use six. You do kind of want to have an, uh, a, a, a elemental for every type. So we have Teslak for our lightning creature. He is a great, great Solar. He's stuck out there. Doesn't matter if you're up against AIs, because, uh, yeah. Human opponents are a little bit more challenging, because they can throw out the right enemies. Oh, we have Voltoid, too, which is the uh, pre-evolution of Teslak. So you can see right there we can we can do double chain lightning with the chance to stun and it has a really quick boot up and a really quick uh, cooldown. So we might just go those two right there. Let's see what else he has. Is he any zero boot up skills? No. But he's quick. So he's got Arc Jolt pretty much is the first one. Kind of weak. Not really doing much. Yeah, not so much here. So team deflect. Yeah. All right. So, Teslax in. Uh, the other one is out. Thrash pedal here. All enemies chance to apply stun. That's pretty good. Some nature damage right there. That's a basic attack, unfortunately. A uh, good amount of nature damage right there. Major renewal. When dealt water damage gains resolve. Okay, Resolve is pretty good. It's going to uh, help give us more HP. So anytime he gets attacked, he's going to start regenerating some. His unique skill here, enemy front line. It's a poison skill. Dizzy, stun, and toxin. It's all chance, though. I uh, don't really like that. 
All right, so not really liking the squid squid hula. Um, let's remove him right now. Orbat. Orbat has a really strong water attack, which kind of you need. And he also has a passive here, deals more water damage, takes more electric in nature. So he's really squishy, but he does a lot of water damage, which water doesn't really have a damage dealing thing. So we definitely want to put him in as our water damage dealing Solari. Uh, looks like the only... He's already in here. Why, why is it replacing? Um, the only fire that we have is Ember Draw. So we're going to be really gimped on fire, but thankfully he has Reckless Flames, which is a massive fire, 85 damage. And that's pretty much all we need. Unfortunately, looks like he's just got Block. Spirit Head Axe are stronger, so this is going to be like a one-shot kill on any Nature Solari or Lightning Solari, because they're weak to fire. And he has a passive that Spirit Attacks are stronger. So we got that covered. Crowbear will be our defensive tank guy. Huge massive damage here. Alright, I think that's going to be it. Zergle. Yeah, no, I think our team is set right here. Yep, we have like one of every element and we have a basic. This is pretty good here. So let's take a look. Let's go on in and we're going to try and counter what these guys are bringing out. And of course, cutting out the loading time like always. Alright, so we're our first fight here. NPC, start off here. Let's see how our team works out. We're going to bring out uh, our Teslac. So we kind of just brought out things uh, ASAP just to see what was out here. Really, really bad, actually. Um, Should have kind of countered what they did. That's the best move to do, especially against an NPC. And especially with a uh, Teslac that doesn't can't be with call uh recalled so Tetslock is permanently rooted as you can see there we need fire here So, trouble, trouble, trouble. Wow, our warden has got in infect with toxin three on. We're in trouble there. The warden's dead. Ooh. All right, here's match two. Let's uh, not make a fool of ourselves like we did in the first fight there. So we're gonna counter what he's bringing out. So he's bringing out fire. So we're gonna bring out stone, and then bringing it out a water creature so let's go ahead and bring out a lightning creature to counter that all right gotta remember what our relics actually do here so they pacify okay so that hits everyone we definitely don't want to do that all right so we can go and Oh, definitely not good. So using the unique skill there, we cancel the other one. Using the unique skill on the Orbat as well. It's taking a little bit of time to get used to these controls on the uh, the keyboard. I'll tell you that. All right, so we're kind of rocking here. We've got a guard team up over there that's dispelled, though. Zygmunt is pacified, so he's not going to do damage. That should take out the claw burst. Pacification is worn off. Right, 
right, so quick douse over there. Got deflected. The AI is not doing a good job of going, uh, he's splitting his damage. So you typically want to do one thing or the other, uh, kill all the slaughter or go for face. You don't want to split the damage. All right, so match three here. We're one and one. Wow, we bring out like the exact same. So uh, that's not necessarily good. All right, so we really want to actually bring out a uh, lightning creature here. So let's go ahead and take one of these guys back. Now uh, what the hell? He's got his unique skull already. Just go with it. We'll roll with it. Through a grindy torn, huge damage, 101 damage on our hundred and one damage on that Nemnoid we had there. So the circle's going down. Oh fucking PC. Another reason I hate the PC. Got crap like that going on. All right, our test lack is going to get wasted here. Be able to get our reckless flames off. I don't think we need the reckless flames, so we're going to go and just use the scorch bolts because reckless flames will actually hurt ourselves. We got interrupted. Big interrupt. Eroded. Alright, so we're going to go Reckless Flames, the new guy over here. Neutralizing Tide to dispel everything. Unique Skill Meteor Dive to hopefully stun everything. You can see we're picking up the tempo right here. We had a, a difficult start there. And uh, if we would have messed up, you know, one or two more times, it would have been all she wrote. But now she'd be able to come back here with three, two, one, game over. Whew.